What's up everyone, Loybox here back with another ROX video. And in today's video, I will be walking you through on how to do the Halloween Revelry event here on Ragnarok X Next Generation. The Halloween Revelry event is divided into two parts. The first part is the Spooky Code which happens every day at 6pm in Frontera. The next part is the Revelry Party which happens at 7 p.m. daily on Frontera as well. Let's discuss about the Spooky Code event. To start the Spooky Code event, first you need to click on Start Cracking These Codes. Then it will take you to Jack. Once you are here, you just need to follow the instructions on the Obtain Spooky Code Info. Once you're done with that, you need to open the Halloween Revelry tab again. Then as you can see here, we have six different NPCs on the top part and another three NPCs here. So to get the code, first you need to click the NPCs according to their sequence. Starting off with this first NPC on the left, click on it and then it will automatically take you to that particular NPC. Once you're in front of the NPC, you need to interact with it by using movements. So as you can see here, I'm clicking on movement. Then you need to try out one by one until this particular NPC gives out a code. So let's try it here. Now, once you get the code, make sure to write it down. Then, move on to the next NPC. And you need to do this for all the NPCs that is on the Halloween Revelry event. Now, once you have completed listing all the codes, it's now time to translate it. To translate these codes, you need to remember that all zeros should be converted into dot and all the A's should be converted into minus sign or hyphen. And for the X's, you just need to ignore it. So for this case, we have zero. So that is a dot. And then A for hyphen, another A for hyphen, and another hyphen for the last A. For the next code, it is only zero, so that is a dot. Then you need to ignore all the X's. Okay? And that is, by the way, these codes, this set of codes is from the first NPC. Okay? Next is we have here double A, so that's two hyphens. Second is a zero, so that's a dot. Excess uh, to be ignored. Next is another set of zeros, so that's dot, dot, dot. And then dot, dot, hyphen. Then dot, 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 dot. 
And then you just need to do the same thing for the rest of the codes. Once you have completed converting this into Morse code, next step is to open Google, then search for Morse code, translator. Then just pick any Morse code translator that you want. In this case, I'm choosing the first one. Then you just need to copy paste each code on this input part. So in this case, we have here dot hyphen 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 copy and paste. It will give you letter J. So now we have here J. Next, we have here only a dot that is E. Then you need to ignore all the X's. Next, you have double hyphen. And it will give you M. Now you just need to repeat the steps until you finish all the codes. And once you have translated the whole code, you just need to type it on your world chat. So that's J E M E S U I S F A I T T O U T and then P E T I T. Next, followed by a hyphen, and then you need to give the three number code that you receive from the NPCs as well. So that's five, two, and zero. Send it to the world chat and just give it some time and you should receive a mail and it will give you your reward. Please note that if you are the first one to send it to the world chat, you will be receiving an extra special gift from the event. And that's it for today's video. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you like this video, please don't forget to click on the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe if you haven't done so. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!